Today I will show you how to smooth the skin using just dodge and burn technique in Photoshop. So let's start. Hi guys, my name is Nemanja Sekulic and welcome to another fun episode. A lot of you guys ask me how to smooth skin, how to remove some ice bags or some wrinkles without losing skin details, without losing skin texture. Well, one of the great methods to do that is to use frequency separation technique. And I show you that in a previous tutorial, you can find a link here. But another great method that I will show you today is to use just dodge and burn technique. So let's jump straight into Photoshop and let's have fun. All right, guys, today we will have some fun with this image. We will remove some ice bags here and here. They're not so big, but you can see them and this ugly shadow here and here and on the lips here and this some skin imperfections, etc, etc, with just dodge and burn technique. Okay, if you're not familiar with dodge and burn technique, please watch my tutorial about dodging and burning and then come back watch this one here. All right, first what we will need to do is to make some curves for dodge and for burn. First curve will be for dodge and I will bright the image some amount like so. And I will invert press control command I to invert the mask into the black and then I will duplicate this curve with control or command J and just make it darker like so. Let me see. Yeah, like so. All right. And I will call this D for dodge and B for burn. All right. And the next thing what I like to do when I'm uh, using dodge and burn technique it's to add another adjustment layer and that's black and white. Why? Because when you're uh, dealing with dodge and burn technique, you're dealing just with lights. You're painting light in the scene or removing some uh, light from the scene. And that's why I like to work in black and white because then I have only concentrate to the lights, not to the color of the image. All right, so let's continue. First, let's go here to the dodge layer and use a brush really, really soft brush, zero hardness, that's nice. And I like to use 3% maybe opacity, two, three, four or five, something like so. And then just build, build up some strokes. I don't like to use like, for example, 10% and just paint over here and once, twice, and that's it. Because I like to build my strokes with more control. Let's use 3%. And as you can see here, this part is lighter than this part. And that's why we have impression that, that she has uh, ice bags, all right? And we need to brighten this part of the image. Just use white, white brush color and paint on this dodge um, layer mask from the curves, all right? And just make some few brush strokes, all right? And like so. Then we can zoom and go a little bit more into the details. We can press R on the keyboard to activate the rotation tool and just rotate the image if it's easier for us to, to make a stroke like this, not like, like this. All right. We can change the angle like we are rotating the paper we are drawing on. All right. And let's zoom it. Press, press B for a brush and just use a smaller brush and brush this out. All right. I can use maybe 5% for this it's okay and build it up a little bit and definitely you need to invest some time in this technique because if you want to retouch face and use some plugin then you can do maybe and go and do something else because you definitely need to invest time in these things there are no some shortcuts of course you can do some things faster than others but this takes a little bit of time and practice, all right? Now we can use a burn to darken this part a little bit, like so. If, if you done too much like I did, just press S X on your keyboard to swap the colors and use black to remove, to remove some uh, unwanted parts like I did here. Okay, and just press escape to go back to our original rotation of the image. All right. And let me show you now before and after before and after really big difference. We can go more in the detail and retouch this part here. Oops, sorry, we need white 
brush retouch this part here like so and play with that etc etc and you can always go deeper and deeper into the details but let's leave it like this for now then we can retouch this just make it brighter and then see it's it's really nice blend into the the skin now we need to deal with this shadow here just make it a little bit brighter and always change the brush size and what's it, what's important guys always go and unzoom it and change the zoom uh, value because sometimes you can see better in this um, amount of zoom and sometimes you see some things better like if the image is smaller right and just go and play play with that i will not go so much into the details here just because uh, of the time here for this tutorial but you will get a point just use a dodge to add a light light where it's too dark and then you will of course reshape face a little bit and look here we can use a patch tool and just or clone tool and just remove that but we will lose some texture here and if you use a do if if you're using a dodge tool just make this part a little bit brighter like so to blend with the rest of the skin and maybe this part just a touch darker and if you unzoom it well let me show you before and after before and after it's really really easy and you preserve all the texture from the skin and then you can go into the details and go to the small details like so here and here and here etc but I want first to deal with the big details here like so right R on a keyboard and just rotate this make it bigger and go here and retouch this eyes wrinkles okay and yeah I know maybe it's boring but try to invest time in things like this you will have much much better result than just patching and cloning and adding adding the texture from another skin parts you can use combination of uh, frequency separation technique and this technique with the dodge and burn and you will have really 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 nice nice results all right let's press escape and of course you can tweak it a lot but i will not do that now just for time's sake okay maybe this and maybe this part here it's a little bit ugly shadow here like so and with this technique you can you can make let's use zero three percent make uh, lips more 3d by brightening this part here and then darkening this darker part a little bit more like so and they will look a little bit more 3d maybe brighten this part a little bit like so and here let me see before and after before and after really really nice let let's just retouch the eyes a little bit just make it a little bit brighter here okay zero five i'm changing the opacity of the brush all the time depending of the surface i'm brushing and then use a darker brush and just make a contour here like so don't exaggerate it just a touch and it's looking nice maybe some small details here in shadows too and yeah that's really really nice of course there are a lot of things to be tweaked here but the point is how to use dodge and burn to do that here you can of course make it brighter like so and then use dodge and make it make some parts darker and like you did with the patch tool but a little bit better because now you don't have uh you you, you preserve the skin details here right let me let me just do this part here on the neck 
like so. It's really easy. Let's use 3% brush. Like so. And that's it. That's it for, for now. All right, let's hide this black and white uh, layer and we can now see some other imperfections, maybe in a color, etc., etc. But for the dodge and burn part, let me show you before and after. Before and after. Really, really great result just using a dodge and burn. And then if you find that some part that you uh, dodged or burn are a little bit more saturated, then it needs to be just add another layer, hue and saturation, and just lower the saturation of that uh maybe you don't want to lower the saturation overall maybe you just want the red channel etc etc and just use invert the mask with control command i and just use again the white brush and maybe maybe use five percent or so and just brush a little bit the color out of that and yeah of course you need to invest the time in that too but that's that's the point how to smooth the skin using just dodge and burn let me just show you again before and after before and after okay let me show another example this guy here just to show a man's face too not, not just the woman's all right this guy here it took me maybe two three minutes just to do this before and after before and after of course there's room for even more improvements but for that you need to invest a little bit more time and then you can make skin looks really really perfect let's go back to the previous image all right guys let me tell you one more thing for the skin retouching here i today i'll show you how to use just dodge and burn technique to smooth some skin details to remove some ice bags and uh, some wrinkles etc etc and that's really really nice nice technique to do that uh, by preserving the skin details. Well, you can use this same technique to reshape a face a little bit. If a model looks maybe too fat, you can make it thinner by adding some shadows or opposite. And another great uh, way is to combine this technique with frequency separation technique. Then you can remove all unwanted uh, imperfection from the skin and reshape the face as you want and have really, really nice looking final image. All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope that you like this tutorial and that you learn something new out of it. Really great combination for skin retouching is to use frequency separation technique with this dodge and burn technique. The dodge and burn technique, it's really powerful. You can even reshape some part of the face or the body. You can make nose look uh, different, reshape the nose, make uh, you can make lips look thinner or thicker. You can even change the shape and the size of the cheeks, etc, etc. You can make some parts of the body look bigger and some part look smaller, depends on the preference and the taste, etc. Just by adding or removing lights from the scene. So practice, have fun. And if you have any questions regarding to this episode or anything else, please leave them in the comments below. I will be glad to answer it. See you next week in the next fun episode. Bye-bye.